Hi everyone, welcome to Everything Daphne. Today we're going to talk about something amazing once again. Uh, today we're talking about God acted long before you were oppressed. Father God, thank you so much that your power and glory is going to flow right now in me and through me. In the mighty name of Jesus, that whoever is going to listen is going to be blessed, is going to be encouraged, and is going to be given revelation and power. And glory, thank you, Jesus. Praise you, God. Um, today we're going to start from Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3 to 6. <clears throat> Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3 to 6. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. In love, he predestined us for adoption to himself, as sons through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, with which he has blessed us in the beloved. Well, today we're talking about um, how God acted before, long before you were oppressed. First of all, we start with the first part of uh, blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. God has blessed you, if you are in Christ Jesus, with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. One thing that some of us don't like is when people say, God bless you, um, we'd be like, no, I'm, I mean, I'm blessed. Like, and some people take it as an offense, like, oh no, you're not, you're not, you're really proud, you're, you're arrogant, but like, that is not me trying to be arrogant. That is me telling you my reality. My reality is that I am blessed, that God has blessed me with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Something I can use is like, you know, like a cup of porridge. Um, you, 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 you get a porridge and you drink it and then you beat on it and then you get a spoon and you scoop out every porridge in the cup and you also get the tongue and you pass it through the cup to get every porridge out of it and then you put some water in it and you shake 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 and put it in the mouth so that there is nothing left um in the cup so that there is no porridge left in the cup that's how god blessed you and me in jesus christ he poured out all the porridge all of it to you and me all of it and just scooped every every porridge in the heavenly places scooped it and scooped it and scooped it and even put water in the cup so that every no, nothing is left and poured it towards you and me and that's the kind of blessing we have in in jesus christ um then even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world before the world was formed god has already chosen you in christ jesus that you should be holy and blameless before him. So some of you might be struggling with different things, maybe being oppressed with maybe sin, maybe being oppressed with sickness, maybe being oppressed with shame, maybe being oppressed with guilt, maybe being oppressed with poverty, maybe being oppressed with failure. But in Christ Jesus, before the foundation of the world, God had already like destined you let me see how the bible says it before the foundation of the earth god chose you to be holy and blameless in christ jesus so if you are in christ jesus you are holy and you are blameless and this was before before you even sinned before you were even born god chose you to be holy and blameless before him in Jesus Christ. That is before even you planned, before even you knew that you needed God, God had already planned it. Before you even knew that you needed God, God had already blessed you in Christ Jesus. He chose you before the foundation of the world that you should be holy and blameless in him. Before you were, you were even born, God had already blessed you in 
Christ Jesus, so you're no longer cursed. Some of you live as you, as though you're cursed. Some of you believe in curses. Some of you fear curses and all that. But you have to stand in the knowledge right now that I'm telling you that if you're in Christ Jesus, you are blessed. Nothing like God bless you. Don't tell me God bless you because I'm blessed already. Maybe you can say thank you, Daphne. I can say you're welcome. But like, God bless you. I'm already blessed. God poured every blessing towards me in the heavenly places. So I already have it. So I don't need to be blessed anymore. I don't need to be blessed more than I am blessed right now. Oh, it reminds me of a song. I'll never be more loved than I'm already loved right now. Yeah, it's the same thing. I, I will never be blessed more than I'm blessed right now. I'll never be holier than I am holy right now. And I'll never be rich more than I am rich right now. Because even in Christ Jesus, before the foundation of the earth, God had already planned it that I would be rich in Christ Jesus. That you would be rich in Christ Jesus before you were even born. Before you were born. So before, which takes me back to our topic today, that even before you were oppressed by any situation, any circumstance, just know that God had or has already provided for you as far as that circumstance. God has already put angels in line to uh, to serve you as far as that circumstance god has already god is god is not shocked by situations god saw those situations before they happened and he aligned everything that you need for you to have he's not sh um he's not shocked by anything he's not shocked he's very proactive god is very very proactive He's not reactive, not like, oh, oh my God, Daphne has broken a cup. Oh no, now what can I do? I need to find a solution. No, God already has a solution before the cup was broken and he already provided for it in Christ Jesus. So if you are going through any kind of turmoil, any kind of hardship, any kind of situation, whatever it is, God already planned for it and God already provided for it in Christ Jesus. Even before the world was formed, he already planned for it and he already provided for it. There is no situation in this world that God has not known and that has not seen beforehand. He has seen it beforehand and he has provided for it beforehand. So child of God, if you see that situation coming towards you, if you see that situation coming for you, thank him, praise him, worship him. Thank him that God, I thank you that you already provided for me before I even had a need. Thank you that I am blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Thank you that before the foundation of the world, you had already blessed me. You had already chosen me blameless to be ho blameless and holy. Thank you, Father, that you already, that you're proactive and that you already provided even before I had a need. So don't freak out. Don't panic. Just stand in thanksgiving. Just stand in praise. Just stand in um, confidence don't be shaken by any situation don't be checked cracked up by anything just be very very confident in the father who has seen whatever you're going through before they happened and provided for you and made a way for you thank you father thank you jesus thank you for listening make sure to like to subscribe to share to comment and anything good um you are blessed and have a lovely day. I, I am.